Here at Florida State, defensive lineman Marvin Wilson. And Marvin, first thing I got to ask you about, Coach Norvell pointed out a few guys that made very impressive weight gains, weight losses, and he said you didn't necessarily gain or lose something, but he said in terms of your body composition, you made great strides. How did that come about? What you been doing this off season? Um, really, we just got with Coach Storms. You know, um, really, our program, weight room program, we go call it Body by Storms. You know, <laughs> everybody didn't change their body. Uh, Coach Storms has <laughs> done a great job uh, coming in, uh, changing our minds, how we approach work every single day. Uh, come in, uh, we work hard. We got a lot of guys. It's really uh, a lot of weight gain guys be eating. Every time I see the weight gain guys, that was kind of shake. That was got some food. You know, Marissa has been uh, our nutritionist, is doing a great job. Make sure she's giving us a lot of food that we can eat, different things like that, snacks and stuff like that. Uh, about our weight loss guys like Big Coop, Big Coop, uh, he be eating cheese sticks and different things like that. <laughs> Coop to put the Cheetos down, uh, made big uh, strides and just changed the way he eat. You know, me, me personally, I've just been trying to keep my same weight. I'm already at my playing weight. I like to be at in the season, so really I've just been trying to uh, tone everything up and get rid of that fat from that muscle. What's been the underlying motivation for all these really impressive gains or losses in the weight room the last couple of months? I'm um, just as, as a team, as a staff, as one, uh, one unit as a program, we all came together and put all our differences aside. Come, come ready to work every single day. You know, every day is an opportunity to get better. You know, that's how we be treating everything. Come in ready to work. We've had a chance to talk to you really since you made your decision to come back to Florida State and not go to the NFL draft. Really, what again? Just kind of tell me how did that come about? And that now that you're here, you sure you made the right decision? Well, it's definitely I made the right decision. Coach Norville and the staff uh, just came in and do amazing things for us so far. And uh, uh, my decision came about. You know, a couple of my guys already got injured. Uh, I was injured, and not, not even just the injured part. Is like uh, we didn't like how uh, we was, uh, we did leave. Even the program in and the state is in, you know, I feel like we can give it one last shot, you know, just come out and do a great thing for the for state summer. When you were out there doing that tour of duty, all those tough workouts, did you ever stop to think, man, I could be signing a million dollar contract? Uh, definitely, you definitely get those thoughts, but at the same time, you think about, uh, like more, more things like that's bigger than just money, you know, just the bond you know, you're building with these guys over, over these last couple of years. Think about what you're gonna be able to do in the fall, uh, all the great things that you accomplish. You know, it's, it's, you don't play football just for the money. You gotta let the game. What's what's the big difference in the workouts this preseason and compared to last? Oh, that's super intense. You know, uh, high motor. Uh, Really strained, uh, being successful, you know, doing everything right the right way, not just coming in, checking the box, and just getting your work in. And going, you want to do everything to perfect, you know, just coming in, just developing that, uh, that drive, that passion to uh, be great. We've seen the, uh, the the different jerseys and that tour of duty. How do you feel like accountability has has changed, or do you feel like it has, has changed? Accountability and discipline has been a huge part of this program uh, and the shift that we're going through right now. Um, Coach Novell has held, held us up very high standard, not just. Us leaders, but every, even onto the walkovers, everybody has their part. Everybody has to play a role. And when we don't do right, you gotta hold us accountable. You can't just let anything slip. You know, it's just it's amazing uh, how like they hold us accountable and the discipline has actually changed our team for the better. Those so feel like guys are actually caring about the program a lot more. Football is more big, bigger aspect in our, our lives right now. Uh, people come ready to work every single day. You don't see anybody really coming in with bad attitudes. Guys approach the game the right way. You know, it's, it's, I love love seeing it. Uh, helps me get up in the morning. You know, I remember uh, this week when. One of my teammates, um, uh, Jalen Goss, I uh, missed my alarm. He came in like more of a to get up, and I hopped up by the bed, ready to go. I like, let's go get it, you know, uh, ready to go attack it. And that's five o'clock in the morning, you know. He just turned up, and you, you come in five o'clock, you see Coach Norville turned up, ready to go, just like us. On your decision to come back, was there something you saw in Mike Norvell or something in this coaching staff or some change that really kind of provided incentive for you to come back? Um, it's something I saw in this program and on my teammates that I knew uh, we can do better and we deserve better. So, uh, I owe it all to my guys. Uh, I suit up with every other weekend. Um, I believe in them uh, as much as they believe in me. We'll go out and we can do great things this year. That's the plan. Thank you. Well, you have any personal goals 